Did you know that the marathon honors a legendary Greek soldier? He was said to have run more than 25 miles from the battlefield of Marathon to Athens to tell people that the Greeks had won. Now, if that poor chap ran 25 miles, you might be wondering why a marathon is 26.2 miles long. In 1908 in the Olympics, the queen asked for a longer course so that her children could watch the race. and the length was made official in the 1924 olympics you might also be wondering why i'm telling you random facts about marathons well let's get straight to the point i am ashton doctor and this is the compounding mindset brought to you by axis mutual fund i'm also the habit coach and i will tell you how you can build on habits and build on your finances to have a more successful life now coming back to marathon facts My point was not to tell you to get up and start running a marathon but to try and draw your attention to a little something called a runner's high. A runner's high is a state of euphoria, reduced stress and general well-being that some people feel after doing intense aerobic exercise for a long time, especially running. This effect is often linked to the release of endorphins, which are chemicals in the brain that the body makes when it works out. Endorphins are natural painkillers and a mood booster that helps explain the good feelings connected to a runner's high. Besides endorphins and neurotransmitters like dopamine and serotonin may also be involved in this. While runner's high is in something that everyone who goes running or does aerobic exercise feels, those who do describe it as a strong positive mental state. It can make you feel good about what you've accomplished. lower your anxiety and stress and help your mood and overall health be better many people also say that there is no such thing as a runner's high that's an elusive urban myth well i say that getting regular exercise is an investment in your health that has benefit beyond the pleasures of exercise itself working out as part of a healthy lifestyle not only makes you feel good right now but it also improves your physical health and mental health for the rest of your life and just to add an important point here you don't have to run to get a runner's high you get it from many types of aerobic exercise but the key is to keep doing it to stay in the zone to stay invested in the game and just like a sustained aerobic activity is required to achieve all these good feelings that carry you on to good spirits it is important to sustain and stay invested in the finance world as well there are many benefits to staying invested in the finance market for a long time one big benefit of course is the power of compounding which means that the returns on an investment make more returns over time which leads to exponential growth market trends in the past have shown a general upward trend despite short term changes this shows that there is a chance for positive returns over long periods of time market volatility doesn't have as much of an effect on long term investors because the market tends to recover from downturns over time so long term investing lets you ride out different market cycles this way investors don't have to make hasty decisions based on short term changes by investing regularly over time you can average out your money which means buying more shares when prices are low and fewer shares when prices are high this lowers the average cost per share People who invest for the long term can benefit from economic growth, dividend income, and making sure the strategy fits with their financial goals, especially when planning for retirement. But of course, as always, keep reviewing your finances, staying invested, and the beautiful runner's high. Both require persistence, discipline, and the pursuit of a long-term goal. People who do long-term investing agree to keep their investments for a long term, usually years or decades. In the same way, a runner's high comes from putting in consistent effort and endurance during long periods of aerobic activity. In long-term investing, the idea of compounding means that returns create more returns over time. This is similar to how a runner's high lasts for a longer time. When you are running, pushing through that mental and physical barrier can make you feel great and give you a sense of accomplishment. Both situations show the benefit of sticking with something and planning to stay there for a long time. In addition, the emotional high that comes with doing both activities adds to the general sense of well-being. 
when it comes to money compounding makes people richer by giving them returns on both the initial investment and the returns that have been earned over time this shows how important it is to start investing keep investing and of course stay invested isn't that how life works as well when we stick to small positive actions over and over again they can have big effects in the long run good habits add up and so do bad habits the choice is up to you whether it's making healthy choices keeping a learning mindset or taking care of your relationships the little things we do every day add up to big changes in our life when you use the power of compounding in your personal and financial decisions you can see how long term consistent work can change things the compounding principle has undeniable effects whether it is used to explain life choices or money habits this is the compounding mindset with axis mutual fund my name is ashton doctor keep an eye out for future podcasts where we'll continue to talk about how consistency can change our lives always keep in mind that the small consistent efforts that we make today could add up to a big result tomorrow this has been the compounding mindset with axis mutual fund keep a watch out for more episodes where we talk about the power of consistency in our life and remember to subscribe for future episodes Mutual fund investments are subject to market risks. Read all scheme related documents carefully.